In this video, we'll be learning about HTML attributes. So HTML attributes provide additional information about HTML elements. So HTML attributes, all HTML elements can have attributes. Attributes provide some additional information about elements. Attributes are always specified in the start tag. Attributes usually come in name value pairs like name is equal to value. Now let us, uh, you know, talk about href attribute. So a tags defines a hyperlink. The href attribute specifies the URL of the page. So href tag basically contains the URL. And what happens is that the a tags defines a hyperlink. So in between a tags, we have written visit w3 schools. So if we run this, so what will happen? There's a paragraph written. This is a href. So w3schools.com will not be written whatever we write over here visit w3schools so it will take us to w3schools right if i write you know something over here something else for example if i write abc so it will here now it will show abc right so this is how it works this is the href attribute uh, now coming to the src attribute the img tag the image tag is used to embed an image in an html page the src attribute specifies the path to the image to be displayed now here's an example like uh, you want to display some image so there will be image girl dot jpg all right so we have already uh, tried this let us try it again for example there is you know some image girl dot jpg this is the file name and this will be the width and this will be the height so this will be the width and this will be the height of the image so src the source of the image is an attribute right we can also you know change the width we can say 120 and height will be let's say 200 we could also make the image smaller greater or according to our wish right if we put 160 something like that so this is how a image tag works and this is the src so src is basically source it is an attribute so now there are uh, two ways to specify the url in the src attribute so one is the absolute url links to an external image that is hosted on another website now you should note that external images might be under copyright if you do not get permission to use it you may be in violation of copyright laws so in addition you cannot control external images it can be suddenly rem be removed or changed so it's better that you download a copyright free image and then you you know put the file in the server now there is an another you know way to put your url that is relative url so it links to an image that is hosted within the website here the url does not include the domain name if the url begins without a slash it will be relative to the current page for example if you write something like this you know now if the url begins with a slash it will be relative to the domain so it doesn't matter where the source of image is there so relative is better because if you you know change your website or change location of uh, images so it won't matter it is just that image should be present in that particular file so relative url is better they will not break if you change the domain let us talk about the width and height attributes so the image tag also contains the width and height attributes which speci specify the height and width of the image in pixels so we have already seen this you could write something you know source and then you could put width over here and height over here according to you know what size of image do you want to be displayed on your website now coming to the alt alter attribute so this is for alternate text for an image if the image for some reason cannot be displayed this can be due to a slow connection or an error in the src attribute or if the user uses a screen reader so for example if the image is not available in some case you know there might be the there is internet is slow or something like that so we'll get a alternative like girl with a jacket let us try so here image is being shown so uh, it doesn't really matter now if i change this now there is uh, no image like this now if i run this now what will happen no image is being displayed but instead this alternate text that is written girl with a jacket that is being displayed because due to some error or you know 
मे बी ड्यू टू एनी रीजन इफ इमेज इज नॉट बींग एबल टू डिस्प्ले देन वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन रीड इट विद एन ऑल्टरनेट टेक्स्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ इमेज इज देयर राइट सो नाउ लेट एस गो बैक सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस नाउ कम्स आर स्टाइल एट्रीब्यूट द स्टाइल एट्रीब्यूट इज यूज टू एड स्टाइल्स टू एन एलिमेंट सच एज कलर फॉन्ट साइज एंड मोर राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू स्टाइल इन अ पैराग्राफ कलर रेड सो दिस इज अ रेड पैराग्राफ लेट एस सी नाउ दिस इज सी यू कैन सी दिस इज नॉर्मल पैराग्राफ एंड इन द स्टार्ट टैग ऑफ पैराग्राफ इफ वी राइट स्टाइल इज इक्वल टू एंड इन इन्वर्टेड कॉमर्स वी राइट कलर देन वी पुट यू नो टू डॉट्स एंड देन वी राइट द कलर डैट इज रेड एंड देन वी एंड इट विद अ सेमी पॉलन सो द कलर ऑफ दिस पैराग्राफ विल बी रेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई राइट येल्लो सो दिस इज यू नो समफ द बेसिक कलर सो टेक्स हैज टर्न येल्लो नाउ इफ आई राइट ब्लू सो दिस इज नाउ ब्लू एंड आई कुड ऑल्सो चेंज लाइक दिस इज ब्लू पैराग्राफ सो आई कुड यू नो डू लाइक दिस सो स्टाइल इज ऑल्सो एन एट्रीब्यूट इन द पैराग्राफ सेक्शन नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द लैंग एट्रीब्यूट सो लैंग यू शुड ऑलवेज इंक्लूड द लैंग एट्रीब्यूट इन साइड द एस टी एम एल टैग टू डिक्लेयर लैंग्वेज ऑन अ वेब पेज दिस इज मेन्ट टू एसेस्ट सर्च इंजन एंड ब्राउजर्स यू नो वेन एवर यू सम लाइक गूगल इज अ सर्च इंजन सो वेन एवर समबडी सर्च इज ऑन गूगल सो इन वॉट लैंग्वेज इज ही आस्किंग इन वॉट लैंग्वेज गूगल हैज टू यू नो डिस्प्ले द रिजल्ट सो इट्स बेटर डैट यू मैंशन द लैंग्वेज सो वेन यू राइट द एस टी एम एल टैग यू शुड राइट लाइक लैंग्वेज ई एन so it means that you are using the language english now country codes can also be added to the language in the lang attribute so if the language is of uh, you know as united states so you could write en uh, hyphen and then you could write us so uh, language also you can specify that will be better for you know search engines and all so now let us talk about the title attribute so uh, in title what you could do the title attribute define some extra information about an element for example you are writing a paragraph and for that particular paragraph you need to put some title so what you need to do p title what i am a tool tip mouse over this paragraph to display the title so in this this is not available let us see if it works in vs code so we'll just go we'll save the file and we'll open it with live server so mouse over this paragraph to display the title attribute as a tool tip so the title attribute so due to some reasons it is not working as of now let us skip this but i told you this is something like that there must be some error right so uh, we suggest always use lower case attributes right so the html standard does not require lower case attributes but it is you know better that you use lower case and it is easy uh, always quote attribute values whatever you you know put like you put a link over here so it is better that you use inverted commas even if you don't use inverted commas uh, you know then what will happen uh, it will not display the title of the attribute correctly now if you are writing a paragraph p title about w3 schools now coming to single quotes or double quotes what should you use so double quotes around the attribute values are most common in html but single quotes uh, quotes can also be used in some situations when the attribute value itself contains double quotes it is necessary to use single quotes right for example if uh, you know something like this is given and in single quotes this is given so use so either you can put single quotes in the starting and for a particular you could use double quotes or vice versa you could use double quotes in the beginning and ending and in between you could use the single quotes so this is the, uh, the cha chapter summary html elements can have attributes href attribute of a specifies the url the source attribute of image specifies the path to the image to be displayed width and height are also attributes of image alternate text is also an attribute of image style attribute is used to add styles to an element such as color font size and many more things language attribute of html declares the language of the web page and title will give some extra information right so add a tool tip you could 
do uh, this exercise on your own this is all for this video in the next video we'll be discussing html headings so i'll meet you in the next lecture thank you